Okay, good morning Brexit fans, here we are coming back at you again. Um, so I was looking at Facebook last night and um, thinking about uh, some of the things and what I came up with uh, was a um, problem. Somebody had posted some pictures of the terrible flooding that's taken place in Ghana um, and um, how that's really affecting people's lives in a really harrowing and awful way. And they were saying on Facebook, you know, there was no traction for this story and um, nobody really was interested in it and it immediately made me start to think about how could we help and so I thought right okay what I'm going to do is let me have a look at this I just spend a few minutes and see what I can come up with so I came up with uh, some ideas and I posted them uh, as a potential UK opportunity um, that would help both parties so a win-win scenario and here it is um, so it says so many folks want to do something to help I believe we in Britain could help the people of Ghana on a permanent basis. Ghana's main domestic products are coffee, cocoa, cola beans and timber. West Africa has a trade agreement with the EU and links to that are below in the description. However, it imposes tariffs which stop Ghana competing evenly in the EU market. Now I'm quoting here from a CapEx website that says, the concern is not that Germany benefits from processing coffee, it is that Africa is punished by EU tariff barriers for doing so. Non-decaffeinated green coffee is exempt from the charges, however a 7.5% charge is imposed on roasted coffee and as a result the bulk of Africa's export to the EU is unroasted green coffee. The charge on cocoa is even more debilitating, it is reported that the EU charges a tariff of 30% for processed cocoa products like chocolate bars or cocoa powder and 60% for some further other refined, refined products containing cocoa. Now the link to that story is also in the description below. So Ghana holds a seat with the World Trade Organization and Britain is poised now to retake its seat as a result of Brexit. So a simple UK Ghana trade and investment deal tariff free would see exported goods from Ghana providing a much higher return for their producers increasing prosperity and developing stronger safer communities support this with direct UK investment to Ghana which would yield a growth return the removal of tariffs would reduce the costs of goods from Ghana into the UK of course this is the work of UK ministers but now that they have this hash UK opportunity all we need to do is point them in the right direction so a nicely worded email with the information in this post and the links below or better still share this to their Facebook page even simpler now uh, links to the EU trade agreements and the capex quotations that I've put together there and all the information you need is available right for there for you to use uh, so do remember subscribe to the podcast to uh, this channel if you want more crazy random updates and um, do share this on social media and of course show, share it with your other contacts and uh, let's get the word out there so that we could get some motivation to help the people in Ghana they're really struggling right now I'm Rick Timmis. I'll see you soon.